about to update my calendar with this week's menu plan. So let me, um, well, I got to get something started first. Uh, let's do this first. Just a second. Okay, so for dinner tonight, I need to cook this spaghetti squash. So I've got it down here in my instant pot and it's sitting on the trivet and there's, I just filled a coffee mug full of water and threw that in the bottom. So no piercing, no nothing. This is in the instant pot and I'm just going to go down here to manual and set it for 30 minutes. And, and then I'm just going to let that go and putting the lid on it and it's in sealing position and I'm just going to turn it so that it's turned sideways get the for when I vent it that it doesn't hit the tops of my cabinets so I'm just going to let that go okay so for this week so that means um Right here for tonight, we are making, we're going to have chicken spaghetti. So, um, let me put that down. Worth it down. I got interrupted for a second. So, chicken spaghetti. So, that is why I'm cooking that spaghetti squash. Because I do a keto version. So, um, making that. Now, I've got some ground beef that I wanted to use. So, we're going to have on Sunday hamburger steaks and let me write that down with onion gravy and this is a keto recipe and so well of course everything I'm making is going to be keto but this is really good and I holiday here so I'm home and so I'm making meatloaf muffins that all that is is um, just my meatloaf recipe that I make and I put it in a muffin tin instead of putting it in a loaf shape it cooks up quicker plus it's pre-portioned you know I mean so and I'm, I guess I'm just not going to put any sides down. See, like up here I put sides. Um, and here I'm probably going to have collie rice with it or something. But um, I'm just not going to put any sides. I'm just going to put the main, main meal. Because we've got plenty of canned vegetables, frozen vegetables, all kinds of various things. So I'm not going to put any sides. I'm just going to put the main thing down here. Oh, let's see. What do I want here? Well, I do know... Let's see. Yeah, I do know I'm going to do eggs in purgatory here because we do enjoy that. And let's see. Um, maybe taco salads here. Let's do that. I've got some lettuce. And um, over here. Well, I got I got that catfish, so let's do um, that catfish. It was catfish nuggets, so we'll just put that down. And I'll probably pan sear them in some kind of um, keto friendly use some kind of keto friendly uh, breading, like um, I don't know almond flour or. Uh, ground up pork rinds or something like that and then Friday is leftover so y'all I think I think we're done for this week um yeah and then I'll wait till next week to see yeah that's it yep so we've got basically one more full week week after this upcoming week to write everything down and okay I did make a change so um, this past week I was going to make pizza soup on Wednesday, but my daughter was sick, so I ended up making a chicken noodle soup. So I'm going to move that pizza soup down to, let's just move it down here to the 26th, because I do want to make that at some point this month. And because it's good, we do enjoy it. Um, 
Yeah, I totally forgot about those poblano peppers that I just picked up at that discount grocery store. So I'm going to be changing something here. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, whoops, pop my pen out. I'm going to eliminate that and I'm going to do the poblano peppers here. So I'm going to do stuffed. Um, poblano peppers. And then I'm going to just move the meatloaf muffins to uh, next Sunday. Okay. Yeah, you know, this is just kind of my thought process. I mean, I have done the whole month, and then I end up rearranging stuff. Um, I know what I've got mostly in my freezers. Um, I've got multiple freezers. Okay, so yeah, that way I can use those poblano peppers, and I'm going to cook them all. I've got plenty of the ground beef, because I'm going to be using some for that, and I will use the rest for this. Oh, gosh, dude, now do I want taco salads there? <laughs> um, I don't know. Well, I'm just going to leave that because, I don't know. And this week, yeah, this week, I am planning Big Mac salads for work this week, but I don't have to make those until Monday because then I'll just need to make four, one for each day because Monday is a federal holiday. So... Yeah, I'm going to keep the Big Mac salads and yeah, all that ground beef. I do have, I've got a lot of ground beef, y'all. I really do. Um, I don't know. I'm going to leave that there for now. I may have to come back to it. I'm going to think about that. I just pulled my chicken spaghetti out of the oven. So this was made with a spaghetti squash and uh, really... I can't tell the difference, neither can my daughter, from the spaghetti squash and the regular spaghetti, but um, yeah, i got to let this cool for just a couple minutes before I can serve it up. But really, this is really good. Well, there's a quick menu planning video along with a, uh, wasn't really cooked with me because I've actually already made this on another video before. I'll be doing, I guess I'll do a cook with me tomorrow when I make... Uh, my, my our meal for tomorrow but um yeah i'm hungry my daughter's hungry so i'm gonna serve up dinner and i'll see y'all later bye